Driving like that only take you about 45 minutes to get there, Dave. <laughs> the Rose and the Korea line, along with Gustafson, will start. And at center ice, a quick shot coming from the blue line. Steve Korea told us he was angry yesterday, wanted to produce some more. Here is LaRose behind. The cage trying to go right in front for Gustafson. No points for the top line in their 2-1 sudden death overtime win against Boston College here on Thursday. Game you saw on ESPN2. Thank you, Mealy's group. Practiced really hard yesterday. I was a little bit surprised. A lot of speed, a lot of tempo, game situations, two-on-ones, and their down-low play inside their own zone, and then the transitions to the breakouts. Those are the things that they're going to be looking to do here in this game here tonight. Their record and what got them here so far into this national championship, the first time they have ever been here. Well, if Maine is going to be successful in this game, they're going to have to establish their physical play one-on-one. -on -one. They feel that they're physically stronger than all the other teams in this tournament. And down to this last game, they need to get some speed on the attack going through the neutral zone. Tratney comes out to the far right point. A shot put on Kotla. Save. Sprawling. A try on the move is denied somehow by Ty Kotlin. What a try. Tremendous effort by Kotlin without a stick. Somehow lunging and getting a piece. It was Barrett Heiston. It was to his right and robbed. Tratnik tries to hold it alive. Here is Metcalf. Streaking in front. It's chipped just wide. Some Krog. He had a power play goal the other night. Darren Hadon out to Flipwitz. On the move, a shot. And Alfie Misho saw it all the way. It was not screened. It makes a stop. It sets them all up. And some of the main players saying yesterday how important it is to shut down the line mates. Across the line. Here they come again. Krog on the move, a shot. Misho makes the save. Alfie Misho on the nation's best player, Jason Krog. Now Hadar behind the goal line from a sharp angle outside the left circle sets it up. Hadar gets the return feed. So a shot. Rebound loose and Hadar directed it just wide. And look how quickly they were on it. They never give up on the play this line. Krog behind the cage again setting up. Susan's right in front. Comes to Hadar on the move and a shot and another stop. Alfie Michaud feels it. John Sadowski, Chad on a freight truck and Matt Jedjashitsky. That's the line here for UNA. Jedjashitsky spins around in front. Polsky sends it to the near corner. Sadowski had a piece of that. Sent right in front, cut loose. A whack out of two for tries. The Rose tries to hold it in. O'Brien absolutely crushes it. Feed to Korea inside the circle. Couldn't pull the trigger. Collin keeps it alive. Slap shot. Sent right up. Rebound. Loose key tag. Couldn't find the handle. Filipowicz tries to clear. Out to the left point. Collin cross ice. The Rose on the move. A big try. Stop a stick play from Conklin behind the net. Again, Umaine sets up. Charging right in and set just wide. Another good opportunity for Umaine. Dimitrakos that time. Corey LaRose sends down low. Dimitrakos tried the backdoor cut. And Steve O'Brien clears the zone. And again on the move. Minarino charging in and they score! Van Gite knocks it in! Power play goal for the Black Bears! And they've drawn first blood in the national championship! Rebound was the story here, and UNH unable to get to it. Ben Gite, who was terrific in his last game, the semifinals, went to the net hard all night, two nights ago. Does it again here. The rebound comes out, and he cashes in. UNH players are looking at the puck carrier going wide, and they don't pay attention to Gite, Gite going to the net. Vitorino is a man who simply threw it to the net. Coaches will tell you, without the puck, go to the net. Good things will happen. Can't get any better than that. Hadar regains. Look at a stuff in short side. Stopped by Misha again. Dimitrakos trying to find the handle. David Cullen moving. Cross ice pass. And a centering play went off a skate and went just wide. It was Dan Kerlock set up. Kerlock got it right back in the low slot. Trying to fire hard. Dimitrakos scores! Nico Dimitrakos on the move. Makes it a 2-0 Black Bear lead. What a frozen four this freshman has had. Nico Dimitrakos has great hands, but David Cullen makes the play. Cullen will get the puck there at the point. The vision and the ability to make that pass, absolutely terrific. And the freshman Dimitrakos sees the hole, gets into it, and has it come to him at precisely the right time. He gets the pass and shoots it all in one motion.
Conklin trying to track the puck up the path of the puck gets across but is surprised by the quickness of it you could see he never got there and got set up completely he was still in the process of moving his feet Nico Dimitrakos terrific hands great finish comes loose on a freight shot a size pass trying to get it Sadowski down low set just wide Jack Krzyzewski was wide open and he couldn't quite find the handle to get it by Michaud and he shoots a lot more than he used to as well. This kid is a real sniper. Goaltender Alfie Michaud said that his cutbacks, meaning when he fakes the drive wide and then shuts down and pulls back into the middle, either to make a pass or a shot, that's what Michaud really looks for as well. Jason Kroc can do it all from anywhere. And talk about respect. Sean Walsh of UMaine has that for Jason Kroc. He said he is like the Larry Bird of hockey. He is such a tremendous thinker on the ice. Yep. Had Korea ahead of the pack. Now you made the other way. Flip with big shot, rebound, off the post! It was Krog off the post, but a rebound! Janik helped get to it, and it's even strength. Kerluck ahead of the field. He's got Verena with him. Shot scores! There, Kerluck! Just out of the box! You The end of the power play, you have to be aware of that man coming out of the box. UNH is not. Bragnello gets caught up the ice. Kerluck comes out, does a terrific job on the two-on-one. He's a left-hand shot attacking on the right wing side. So he has the option of a very good shot. He fakes the pass and the shot. The UNH defender turned around playing only the pass. A lot of defensemen are taught that these days. I'm not sure I agree with that. Kerluck moves into the middle, finishes off completely by a shot to the five-hole, 3-0. We may have a main player in the crease. It was Jason Vitriano. He was there early, and if they review it, and they can in the college game, Mike Note, the referee, is going upstairs. Hold on, everybody. We may, in fact, have a goal called back from Dan Kerluck, and Sean Walsh was so close to a 3-0 lead. That's right. I forgot, the letter of the law. I forgot about that. In college right. hockey, if you skate through the crease at all, they blow the whistle right away. That one's not going to count. From what we just saw, I think this goal is going to be disallowed. The other assistant referee, Tim Katira. No goal. And is waved off. So, Dan Kerluck loses the opportunity to give you Maine, not by his own fault, a 3 nothing lead to Dick Humili of UNH. Breathes a huge sigh of relief because it is a... Close game again. On a freight truck, got freight train at center ice. He was hit hard and knocked down for UNH. Janik on the move, a shot, short side rebound for Heisted. And it's smothered up by Conklin. Down low, Gustafson will spin it along the sideboards. Comes out for Dave Cole again. 10 seconds left, two man advance. LaRose down low, Korea in front, detail back in. Gustafson two, and it slips through somehow. Conklin really doing a job on Kite in front of the net as well. LaRose winds up, big shot, save made Conklin, and they clear out of the box. Here comes Hadar, Darren Hadar, a breakaway in, he scores! The freshman lights the lap, can you believe it? Short-handed goal for the Wildcats, and this is a game again. Don't go anywhere, folks, it's 2-1. with terrific skills and the presence of mind to come out and get free right out of the penalty box goes high on Alfie Michaud. Michaud has been going down a lot in this game. He tries to take away everything low and Hadar comes in, measured it. You can see he's got a ton of time. That's terrific hands. Unbelievable for this young freshman whom I talked to yesterday was calm and composed and full of confidence and UNH breathing a huge sigh of relief saying, hey, that guy in goal is not invincible. Five on threes, dodged by Maine, a goal scored, almost three nothing. Instead, Flipwitz on the ball, rebound with Sousa. Couldn't tee it up, set wide on again, makes you a save. They can't clear, set just wide. Down low again, they work it. Flipwitz on the move, a shot. Rebound comes right to O'Brien. Couldn't find the handle at the right point. Jamie Flipwitz has the big shot, sends it on. Sousa trying for a rebound. Janik can't clear it away. Again, it's Hadar. Sharp angle is tripped up by Janik, and he got crushed. The U University of Maine defenders are all on one side and have to recover quickly. And they lose control. In front, they score! Sousa! Might Sousa feed! You Maine lost track of the top line for a moment, and Sousa makes a pay. We are tied at two. 
was just going to remark, Brian, how much I signed the top line was getting here in the third period. You cannot afford to turn your back on any one of these three guys in the top line in University of New Hampshire. The quick pass, Souza, all alone. Main got crossed up. You're absolutely right, Dave. Krog finds Souza. Souza redirects it. Nothing Alfie Michaud can do on this one. Right on the doorstep. And cool and calm under fire, Mike Souza has been just spectacular here in Anaheim. And it comes out to the neutral zone. Steve Correa gets around one man. Onside. Across the line. The Rose! Hit the post! Corey the Rose off the iron! Can you believe it? Now Stewart. Crosses the line himself. Had the game winner the other night. Away the mid high spin run. A great save made again. Intercepts. Chapolsky charges in. Jason Chapolsky sends in front. Good opportunity. Fights it. Chapolsky again. Sharp angle shot. Rebound loose. And a whistle. That's going to be crease violation. Crease call. You cannot be in the crease in the college game at all. Goals in this game. Magnus Lundback will bring it across the line himself. Starts through traffic. Now he'll stop with the setup. Stewart on the move. A shot. Saved by Conklin. Bobby Stewart bidding for another game winning goal. He had just cleared the penalty box. That made it a 2 1 game. Hato charging front. Across for Souza. Save made by Elfie Misha again. Instead, comes the Black Bear attack one more time. By Nico Dimitrakos, the freshman outside the circle. A big shot. Was deflected high in the air. Kerluck tried to get out of the way. And Conklin able once again to snuff out the humane attack. Comes out to the point. Philip wins a shot. It was blocked. Never got there. Metcalf helped block it down. Ten seconds left in regulation. O'Brien at center ice. Cross ice. Michael Souza on the move. Big shot. He missed the net. Not by much. Puck loose. Call it clears. And that'll do it. Oh, Michael Souza came so close to winning a national championship for New Hampshire with a huge slap shot from the left point. Can you believe that? And huge it was. Again, UNH has been very effective at using the whole width of the ice, much more so than Maine. And on this last play in the dying seconds, Souza will end up with the puck on the far side with time and room. He measures it, and does he ever crank it? and just got by on the far side. That had Alfie Michaud beaten. So close. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Perfect <laughs> example all. of the emotion. trying to get it out of his own zone. Sent just wide by Stewart, not by much. Heiston battles in the near corner. Lundback tries to come free. Shot by Stewart, didn't miss again by a whole lot. Went glove size, he ripped that one. Right on Conklin, so off the hot main, some good tries. Metcalf lost the handle. And try to free Jedjashitsky on the move, shot. And Michaud makes the stop. Matt Jedjashitsky got a quick snapshot from in between the circles on Alfie Michaud. Of course, every draw so big, and one directly by Walsh. He sent it right on net, off the faceoff. Michaud had to make a very quick save. Tim Walsh almost ended this thing very quickly. Cordera over skates. Andres Lundback comes into the offensive zone, tries the center, he'll do so in front, off the post! Oh, off the post! He came so close! Across the line, Bregnalo broke it up, line change here for Umaine. Now on a freight chuck on the move, big shot! Missed it in. Trying to go glove side, Jedjashitsky keeps it alive. Steve Korea and Marcus guffs us in across the line. Korea is sent into the near corner, Korea flips in front. Sousa the other way. Rod was charging in along the right wing. Lundback came first, though, to break it up. Here's Philip Witz. Centers it. Rod! Can you believe it? What a stop by Misho and Krog. Now Korea breaks out the other way. Steve Korea trying to win this thing for Maine. And stopped again off the side of the net. Can you believe it? Cullen was denied this time on an unbelievable pass by Steve Korea. Takes yet another huge faceoff. They're all big now. Get your chance. Get the rebound. Loose. Set just wide. Sadowski directed it just wide to the right of Misho. Out of midair. Comes to the near side. Chapolsky. Heiston gets it right back. He's with Magnus Lundback. Identical twin of unders. Held in. Metcalf throws it right foot. Rebound loose. Heiston. Another try. Still loose. Conklin lost his stick. He lost his goalie stick. He doesn't have it back yet. Out to the neutral.
neutral zone. Somebody better go back and get that stick for him, or he's going to go get it himself. He did it Makes himself. a good time to do it. Heist in right on the doorstep, a couple of incredible chances. LaRose in the right front, they take it, they score, it's over! Gustafson wins the game, and the national championship, Marcus Gustafson, you mean, wins the title! with spectacular saves. Then Marcus Gustafson, the man who has had several scoring chances in this game, finally cashed in for his biggest goal of the year. What action in this overtime, folks. Absolutely incredible. And the despair of the UNH players matched by the joy and jubilation of the University of Maine. Sudden death, sudden victory, what a game. Watch how it develops and how the season ends for both of these teams. You take a look at Ty Conklin. He did everything he could in this overtime. Makes the original saves a couple of times. Quick turnovers. Gustafson is all alone in front. Conklin made the first one. Couldn't smother the rebound. And Gustafson's timing is perfect. He actually only got a piece of the original shot. His shot. Followed it up and buried it going top shelf. And he wanted to jump right out of the building after that one. 